मोशन सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ मोशन अ बॉडी इज सेट टू बी इन मोशन इफ इथ चेंजेस इट्स पोजिशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सो विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो हियर यू कैन से बॉडी इज सेट टू बी मोशन इफ इट चेंजेस इट्स पोजिशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम यू कैन सी अ कैफेटेरिया देर एंड Yes, it's a beautiful cafeteria, and now you can see a car, a taxi there. It's moving, so the taxi is moving with respect to time. So we can say the car is in motion. So that's about motion, and also it can define as a body is said to be in motion when its position changes. A body is said to be in motion when its position changes continuously with respect to a stationary object taken as a reference point so body said to be in motion when its position changes continuously with respect to a stationary object taken as a reference point you can see a church there and now you can see a man walking moving away from the church so a ch taking church as a stationary point you can say with respect to the church the man is moving so the man is under motion so distance traveled and displacement traveled these are the two words that you should study here in this chapter so distance traveled and displacement traveled so what is the difference between these two thing words so distance traveled by a body is the actual length of the path covered by the body so distance traveled is nothing but it is the actual length of the path covered by the body now you can see a small house there okay it may be your house or my house okay it's a beautiful house okay so now yes it's a beautiful paint there so house is there and you can see a small tree there yes i am drawing a small tree there it's a beautiful tree as a coconut tree okay so now i'm slowly drawing this thing now we are just going to deal with what is the actually distance means now you can see a supermarket there yes and here we are just drawing we are just moving from my house to the supermarket in a in my vehicle so first instead of going straight i am just going first to the tree near to the tree and then to the supermarket so first i am going to the tree and then to the supermarket so we can say that the total path covered by the vehicle that is from house to the tree and from tree to that super market so this is a total path covered by the vehicle there so we can i can say that the distance covered by the vehicle is first from my house to the tree and then to the supermarket so distance is a scalar quantity scalar means those scalar means the uh, these are those physical quantities who have only magnitude and there is no direction specified direction there now moving on to the next thing that is a displacement so what do you mean by displacement displacement is a shortest distance traveled by a body from initial point to the final point so you can say displacement is a shortest distance in the uh, before example we have seen the vehicle have moved from first to the tree and then to the supermarket so here it's not a shortest distance shortest distance will always be a straight line displacement is also defined as the change in position of a body with respect to with respect to an origin with respect to an origin that means if i am taking an origin origin means what a reference point so here again i am taking the same example same example so that i have a house there and you can see the tree there and also the supermarket there so a house a supermarket and a tree now you can see that with respect to our uh, uh, the previous case we have seen the vehicle was moving to the tree first and then to the supermarket and uh, but in this case i am just measuring the displacement so that without moving to the tree the vehicle directly moved to the directly moves to the supermarket that means it's a straight line there it's a straight line so it is a shortest distance from the initial point that is a house to the final 
point that is a supermarket so here the displacement is a straight line from my house to the supermarket so here actually we are measuring what we are measuring the displacement none other than distance how it is not the distance it but it is a displacement we are measuring so this is the case about distance and displacement now learning about displacement one important thing is there that is displacement is a vector quantity here the direction is very very important so earlier case distance we don't need to take the dis, uh, direction there so it is a scalar quantity so displacement is a vector quantity so it is having both magnitude as well as direction magnitude means value its value if i have 24 kg weight that means 24 is the magnitude there okay so it have a magnitude and a direction so here is one case and also we can say that also we can say that displacement 